All right, Daniel Jones, third down versus Cincinnati Bengals. If you're new to this, do it every single week. I just go through Daniel Jones. I go through his third down plays. We talk about coverage, decision-making. I'm not going to really get into his footwork. I'm not a QB expert like that. But I I could show you what the coverages were, what his decision, you know, what making looked like, if it was good, bad, stuff like that. Um, In this game for Daniel Jones, I mean, he was really solid on third down. Conversion-wise, 8 for 12, which is good. Raw stats, 9 for 10, 150 yards, 2 carries, 8 yards. I mean, 70% of his uh, yards came on third down. There's two big Evan Ingram uh, plays in there that we will, uh, one we will start off with. But, and and Cincinnati was throwing some disguised looks at him. I mean, they were they were not making it simple in, in what he was seeing. So, let's go through it. Let's start with the first one of the game. It is a third and two at the New York Giants 43. And this ends up being a 53-yard pass to Evan Ingram. If you see, they've got the both uh, middle linebackers in the A gap, so they've got you know they got one, two, three, four, five, six guys on the line. You got three uh, defenders for three receivers. You got one on one here with Ingram, and then you got the safety over the top. So really, it's like, what is this safety going to do? What the Giants are going to do is you'll see, you'll see what the what the Bengals do. This linebacker pops out. So you got five, you got five versus five, or, or six blockers versus five rushers, and you got this safety, and it's a man look. Um, Evan Ingram's got the fade, which we'll get to. Um, Shep uh, has a slant, and then uh, Tate has a crosser, and then uh, uh, Slayton has an out route. Down here, nice concept right here. Like, you know, Slayton should be here. If this safety like totally bails to this side. Jones is going to look at Slayton, but this safety, because there's three receivers, you see where he starts. He's calling, he's coming over here. He's coming over to protect here. And you see Evan Ingram. I mean, he just wins off the yet. He just wins off the line of scrimmage. And Jones puts that ball in him perfect stride. I mean, people said that, you know, if he doesn't look back and try and stiff arm, that he could just get in there. But nonetheless, I mean, this is... This is 53 yards. I think this is the longest amount of yards of a play the Giants have had this year. Good stuff. Giants end up pounding the ball and run it four straight plays after that. Next play. Now we got ourselves a third and sixth. The New York Giants 29. Motions the running back in. Um, makes It it makes it look like zone because you see the corner uh, pops down. I, I, I didn't clip that. My bad. Um, Basically, though, they're running uh, a man coverage, and you'll see. Looks they're running a man coverage with him right lined up here, him lined up right here. It's a third and six. This safety playing up top, running back here, and then a high low game with this linebacker playing low, safety playing high. What the Giants are gonna do is they got you got the trips right. Trips right. You got Ingram up here is running a skinny post up into this zone. Or, or it's against man. And then, sorry. We got a curl route from, from Slate uh, uh, Tate. You got a go route here. And then a, what is Shepard? Oh, Shepard is just playing down here. So you got a go and a curl route. I mean, they're playing way off. And it's third and six, too. So it's not like it's third and 11. And he's got these guys manned up. And Tate gets around. Jones puts it on him. I mean, that's good timing, too. First down Giants. First down Giants. Get to that line of scrimmage and uh, turn around. Tate does a good job on that one. Next play, we've got a third and 10 at the New York Giants, 35. They did not convert this one. Um, like I said, oh, look, they have the double A gap here. And it looks like man, like they're going to man up. Looks like they're going to man up here. Um, they should know that... Jones should know that this, they're blitzing. Like, they're not putting two guys right here for fun. Okay, like, they're, they're just... They're not lining up these two guys, the double team right here. Giants run a form of four verts on this, where he's running go, he's running cross. Um, this isn't a vert, but it's you know it, it it looks like it. And Shepard's running a curl. 
Jones, I mean, they get that pressure off the edge with that blitzer right away. You see, they you see they pick it up later in the game. They don't. Jones Jones just scrambles, tries to make a run. He probably could get Shep on this. Like, if he's if he's looking, he probably can get Shep on that if he trusts if he trusts Shep to get that. And then the corner's playing off, so it's not. You know, I I think he should have thrown that one to Shep. And if they get this blocked up. I mean, you've got Tate with all this space. And that's why I'm a big fan of attacking vertically. But like I said, I, I think he should have went. He th- should have thrown that one to Shep on that one. You got third and 13 at the New York Giants 20. Uh, you got, um, he's running an out route right here. That's Slayton. These two are running curl routes. And then Shepard is running a go. They again. They are showing. They are showing blitz. Doesn't mean they're blitzing, but they are showing blitz in the a gaps. Jones hits Ingram on the curl, and what his read on this basically is, is hey, like look, you got man, you you got manned up here, manned up here, manned up here. It looks like it's going to be man coverage, and they're going to blitz or or do something. What the Bengals do is they turn this into cover two. So, this corner drops back. The nickel cornerback turns that into cover two. And then all these guys in these gaps come back here. And ends up only being a, a, a four-man rush with the safety blitzing. So, this is a cover two. You got bam, 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 bam. Jones does a good job of diagnosing this. And what his read is, is he could throw hot right here if he wanted to. But he's, he's reading. His What his read, though, is this linebacker, because he has to turn around and flip his hips... That just this little bit of like coming out here to cover, to cover uh, Tate, gives Jones the green light to hit Ingram on there. That gives him the green light. I think I clipped this from the back view. I mean, you just watch, watch this linebacker make his. Watch this linebacker. As soon as he floats out there, Jones is coming in there. As soon as he floats, as soon as he floats. Jones is throwing. Now, what sucks is that this is a 12-yard pass, but it is 3rd and 13. And if they don't convert, and they ended up punting. But, like I said, they did a good job of disguising their coverages. I mean, that's that's something that Philly did last week, actually, on the Dion Lewis play. It's very similar. 39, next play, New York Giants, 26. Um, they are playing too high, but this is cover 3. And you'll see what I mean by cover 3 is you got 1. Two, three, covering deep. Watch this safety. This safety gives it away. See, it's just they disguise it as a too high cover two, cover four. They're trying to disguise it as like a cover two, cover four. This safety though, he's playing the flats here with Ingram. What the Giants are running is they're running outs on the outside with Slayton and Shepard, and then Tate is running a dig. Like I said, it's it's third and nine, so they're playing off. And Jones, this is just good timing. This is good timing. He's throwing the out to Shepard. I mean, Shepard is coming out of his break, and look where that arm is. Look where that, I mean, that's just good timing right there. Nothing crazy, not some crazy read. Like I said, Bengals tried to disguise their coverage all game, and especially on third down, and Jones did a good job of diagnosing it. So conversion there. Now we got a third and six at the 50 yard line. Um, again, they're doing this double A gap look. You got the two safeties deep. This ends up turning into cover two again. Um, on this side, you have uh, that, you know, Shepard. This is this play kind of weirds me out a little bit because the route concept makes you think that the like the play is supposed to go to the left. Because you watch Shepard and then watch Slayton's gonna run. Flayton's going to run a fade, and then Tate is running a um, Tate is running uh, like a, a curl, I think, right? Yes. So it makes me think that because Shepard is not doing like this. This route is not to catch the ball unless this corner was to bail. So this this play makes me think that Jones 
is supposed to start his pro his progression over here, but he doesn't. But he, he I guess he does start it over there. But he comes back, and then you got you've got over here you've got um, Ingram on a dig, and then Lewis on a on a on a swing pass. I th I think he thought it was man coverage. Because he throws it to Lewis here. I think he thought it was man coverage. And then this corner was going to follow Ingram. And the safety playing up top. Or one of these guys is going to be a man. Cause, I, mean, that's, I think he got confused by that. I think he thought that this was going to be some type of man coverage. I mean they did show that out of the eight double A gap. But they also showed a cover two earlier in the game. But that is what makes me think. Because honestly he should be throwing this like right here for... For Slayton or wherever, I don't, I don't know exactly the, the timing there, but it makes me think it's man that he throws it out here to uh, Lewis. Now Lewis makes the guy miss and gets a first down, so it's conversion. So you're not mad, but I, I kind of think he thinks this is man. And especially like I said, he's looking over here. He's he maybe he's thinking that this this corner is going to man up with this safety over the top, so that's not going to be there. I don't know. I, I think he thought that was man coverage. But they convert, so that's good. That is good. Uh, next play, we have a 3rd and 11 at the Cincinnati 44. Um, they, they ended up getting uh, 10 yards on this, and they went for a 4th down and got it, so that's good. Again, a double A gap. Nickel blitz. Let's watch this. The nickel blitz right here. And then, so what's going to happen is... Basically, and this is where Jones has gotten in trouble before, he diagnoses this nickel blitz. And it's very simple. Uh, Tate realizes that he's blitzing and he's, his, uh, his, you know, the guy covering him has vacated his zone. The Giants are going to run. Um, like I said, he just reads hot. Jones reads, goes right, reads left, sees there's a nickel blitz. He's got Tate. He's got Tate. Gets rid of that ball, puts it in there. I mean, that's a, it's a good job picking picking that up, picking up that nickel blitz, knowing that that linebacker is not going to get there in time. It's the cover three ish look. Good job there, picking that up. Good job picking that up. Next play, we have a third and four at the New York Giants forty-seven. Bengals are running cover three. I mean, this guy's playing deep. This guy is playing deep for a third and four. And then you got trips to the left. What the Giants are running is you've got a sale concept. So what a sale concept is, as I'll show you, is that you've got him running deep. You're trying to attack uh, three levels. So you got um, Ingram running the fade. You got Shep running the out. And then Golden Tate running a whip route, which is a, a fake slant, and then popping out. So the read is supposed to be this corner. This corner does a good job with the safety playing over the top. Like he does a good job of playing both. Because he kind of, you know, he forces Jones. Jones ends up running on this play. But he plays it good with this safety over the top. I mean, that's about as, as well as you could play a sale concept. And this is, I will say, this is a good adjustment from... Teams have been sitting on the whip routes from, from Shepard. Now, if he's able to stay in there and hold on on a bit, he would have had Shep. But by that time, he's already gone. He doesn't even look at those other progressions, by the way. Like, I think he could have had Slayton on this dig route. Like, if he if he comes back and looks at his, through his progressions, I think he could have got Slayton on this dig route, but he just goes. Like, he doesn't even think about it. He's like, all right, that, that's not there. I'm just going. Which is kind of like, is is that good instincts? I, I don't know. Like, you, you guys tell me. Like, watch. He's Watch his head. Bam, I'm going. Doesn't even think twice. Gets the first down. But I think he could have got Slayton on that dig route. Next play, we've got third and five at the Cincinnati 43. Uh, you got uh, two high... Man coverage. This safety is playing down. This linebacker is floating his zone. You got a four-man rush. So they're just, it's just it's they're playing under. You got man coverage everywhere else. You got it out here and in. Or sorry, the in is shallow. The out is deep. 
And Jones does a great job manipulating the pocket here. He knows he has he knows he has man coverage. He sees he has man coverage by the way these these DBs play. And you see him watch him maneuver the pocket on this. He knows he's got to buy himself time, maneuvers the pocket, and now he's got Tate. He's got Tate. Puts it where only his guy can get it. First down. You got curls on the backside. You're not going there. I mean, just maneuvers that pocket really well. Puts it on the kid. Good stuff there. Next play, we have bam. Let's see, we got a third and five. A lot of notes on this on this one. At the Cincinnati 36, this ends up being incomplete. It's a man, man coverage with a single high safety. Got a five-man blitz. This is the one where he gets pressured and he, he throws it behind Deion Lewis. But here's why I want to look, I want to show something. And this is, this is I, I view this as inexcusable. Now, you see, let's just watch. He throws it behind Deion Lewis. That happens. That happens. You're going to throw it behind guys every once in a while. I mean, he was 9 for 10 on third down. Here's what doesn't make any sense to me. Is. You know he's covering there. And I want and I want to show you from this view. That means. Sorry. So that means you have one. Two right here. Somebody might be blitzing. I don't know. But they're, they're are accounted for. If there's going to be a blitz. It will be coming from that side. And if this guy blitzes. Then you have the hot route wide open. Now let's watch it from the back end. This protection is set horribly. This protection is set horribly. This guy's not blitzing. And if he is, you have a wide open D on Lewis. They are not setting the here. And that leaves a free rusher. Thomas is coming down here, which rightfully so. You can't leave a guy unblocked. Gates and Lemieux are working on this defensive tackle. This should have been Thomas setting out to here and Gates working on, Gates and Lemieux working on these two. I don't know if this is on Gates or Jones. But these these guys and Jones have to be on the same page. That you can't you cannot let that happen. And you can't have five guys not blocking five. So it's me. So, okay, here, another big play. Motions it in, shows the man coverage, although they've been disguising their looks. They got the double A gap here. They're just going to get man coverage. You're going to get man coverage. You got man up here, man up here. And again, he's going to put Evan Ingram on a fade route. And watch Jones' eyes. He's got this single high safety. He's got, he, watch his eyes. He knows where he's going. Watch his eyes as he moves the safety. Moves those eyes. Moves his head over here. Moves the safety with his eyes. Watch the safety. That's enough. And now the ball's out. It is a beautiful throw. And an awesome catch by Evan Ingram. You let your playmakers make plays. Man coverage. Throw a beautiful pass and beat it. And then the last play, we're not going to analyze this. Here's what we're going to say. Here's a guy who has one leg. And laces it in. He's got one leg. He's hopping. He's got one leg on third and one. Laces it in with all arm. Ballsy. Ballsy. Get better, Daniel Jones. Get well. We need you. We're trying to win this division. We need you healthy for this. You're as tough as nails. We need you back. Get healthy. Be better than ever. You're improving. You've been really good on third down. I mean, the last six games since I've been doing these breakdowns, he's completed 77% of his passes on third downs. Good stuff, Daniel Jones. They tried to throw a lot at you. You did well. You weren't perfect, but you did well. Good stuff. If you liked the video, like, subscribe, do all that good stuff. Appreciate your support.
Let's go beat the damn Seahawks with Colt McCoy. Should I do a Colt McCoy third down video? That's what I need in the comments. Should I do a Colt McCoy uh, third down video? Because I kind of don't want to, but I might just do it. All right, let's go Big Blue.